All right, welcome back to Turbo Bob's Bicycle Blog. And the sun sets on another Evilo wheel, Omni wheel versus Electron wheel competition here. And uh, literally, the sun set while I was doing this, it, uh, there's a re result for surprise. But what we're doing today, this is part two, uh, is ch checking the battery range. Now, I did it as scientifically as possible. Uh, basically set up a 0.8 mile course around the house, uh, the neighborhood here. Uh, every uh, second lap, my wife and I switched off uh, to compensate for the maybe 20 pounds different weight. And the results are something, I'll tell you. So the Omni wheel, and the neighborhood where I do I, I live in has got kind of undulating. It's not real steep, but up and down. Of course, ended up in the same place each time. The Omni wheel, and once again, let me keep talking about it. I used full power the whole time on both wheels with no pedaling to help the bike. So uh, the range that I got is not really a, a true indication of what you're going to get during everyday riding. And there's so many variables when it comes to uh, range. Uh, so the uh, Avila wheel is set up hand throttle only. The electron wheel uses this box and the pedals to send a message, pedalic only. So here's the results. The Evilo Omni Wheel made it just over nine miles. The Electron Wheel made it just under 15 miles. And all the rest of the miles after the uh, Evilo wheel, uh, Omni Wheel cut out. So quite a dis uh, difference there. So uh, performance-wise, they've been pretty much the same, although in these little, really long runs, and as the battery started running out, the Avila wheel definitely was losing a little bit of ground. Uh, the uh, battery light started blinking about three or four laps, 0.8 mile laps, before it gave out a juice, and I ran it all the way empty. Something I don't recommend doing, I don't do very often. The Omni wheel, or the Electron wheel, I'm sorry, uh, it was in the red about three or four laps before it gave out. Both of them gave out, uh, you know, completely just turned off. So there's the results. As scientifically as I could do it, the Omni wheel made just over nine miles. The Electron wheel made just under 15. And with all these videos and the articles too, I'm going to flip a coin just to see which one gets the uh, lead billing. Uh, in my videos and my article, I did uh, uh, reviews on both of these. I just posted the one on the Omni wheel, did one on the Electron wheel. These are the production models. So anyhow, that's the results. Nine wheels, nine miles from the Omni wheel, 15 from the Electron wheel. Got to admit, I'm just a little surprised. Okay, I will do a full write-up, and I'm going to do one more video that uh, really points out the other differences in the way they mount. Uh, the way they operate and all that. All right, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for following Turbo Bob's Bicycle Blog. And you may not know it, but I'm probably the only one that has both of these wheels side by side. And if I'm not, I'm the only one reporting on it. So this is like an exclusive report on exactly the differences in performance, range, how they mount, how they work, everything there is to know. So uh, I'm doing it. Omni wheel versus electron wheel.